Zephaniah 3 and 8. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the hour, until the day that I rise up to the fray. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may as assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. Read that again. Where's the love at? Uh, 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 I'm not gonna call you uh well, G man, that that G is questionable, man. Amen. You know, and, and we, we, we gonna leave it at that, man. But, but what is what is this saying? Is is this because according to your doctrine, we're supposed to love everything. God loves everything, he loves everybody. Well, why is he coming back with anger if he's all love? You know? that, that, that doesn't make sense. That's a contradictory of your doctrine. Read that again. My determination is to gather the nation, that I may assemble the kingdom to support upon the mind of the nation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And right now, he's assembling the nations over there in the Middle East right now. Because that's where he's going to destroy all their, uh, their militaries. Okay? So his, his determination is to gather the heathen so he can basically destroy their ass, man. What you think the war in heaven is about? Well, Michael the Archangel. The day of the Lord is, is burning in his heart, man. He can't wait to come down and destroy you people, man. All right? In Psalm 7, 11, it says that he's, a, he's angry with the wicked every day. So that's why he's coming back to render his anger. Because he has that pent up anger while he's in the spiritual realm. But yet, but yet, you're not supposed to have any anger. You know, you ain't supposed to have no hate in your heart. You know? Why can't we hate like the Lord hates? Why can't we hate what he hates? The fear of the Lord is to hate uh, 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 evil. You know? Let's go back to the hate scriptures, man. Malachi 1 and uh, starting at the top. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. See, there's a scripture. This is this is a balanced scripture right here. He loves Jacob, which is the righteous. Okay, because Jacob was the chosen nation, or which were formerly known as the sons of God. They were the righteous before they got corrupted with the with the uh, uh, the ways of men. Okay, before they got corrupted by the knowledge of, uh, of evil. Go ahead. I have loved you, said the Lord, Yahweh. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Yeah, so, hey, we preach the love right now. We, the Lord said he loved uh, uh, Jacob. Okay, so that's love right there. We preach in love, but there's a balance here. So let's keep going. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Uh-huh. And he was brother to Jacob, who the Lord loves, right? Go ahead. Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. Right, but he hated Esau. But according to Christianity, the Most High loves, he, he loves everybody. He loves Esau too. And then they try to quote, Hell shall not a poor Edomite. You don't understand that, man. That was a, that's a error, that's a, a, a clerical error from the Masoretes, man. That word Edomite is not supposed to be there. The word Aram is supposed to be there. All right, the Syrians. Okay? And then it says, for he is thy brother. Well, when you read about Laban, or right, which was, um, I believe he was uh, 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 the, the uncle to a, uh, Jacob, if I'm not mistaken, and Laban actually said to uh, Jacob, thou art, uh, thou art my bone and my flesh. 
Are we brothers that are my bone and my and my flesh? All right. So basically, you not in that word uh, thou shalt not pour. It doesn't mean thou shalt not hate. It means thou shalt not. Basically, don't detest them. You know. Don't deny them, for he is thy brother. Because Laban, which was an Aramite or a Syrian, he gave Jacob his daughters to reproduce. And from that uh, reproduction came the 12 sons of Israel, of Jacob. That's why it says that. That had nothing to do with Esau's wicked ass, man. And if you're saying that that's what that means, then you, you're saying that the, more, the, the Heavenly Father contradicts himself. He would tell us not to hate Esau, but he can hate Esau. Right. He hates the so-called white man, but we're supposed to love him. You're not on the same uh, accord with the Father. Yahweh Shah, he's in accordance with his Father. All right? He, whatever the Lord said in the, in the prophets and in the law, and Yahweh Shah, he seconds that. Yeah? Right. Because it's written of him anyway. And back then, who, who were they quoting from? Don't act like during the time of Apostle Paul and the time of, 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 of uh, you know, the gospel, you know, when Matthew was on the scene, Luke was on the scene. Don't act like they was quoting out of the New Testament. They didn't have the New Testament then. They were only quoting from, from the law and the prophets. Right now, we're quoting from the prophets. And in the prophets, the Mosai loves es he loves Jacob and he hates Esau. That has not changed. That's why he's coming back to destroy Esau. That's right. He's in slavery and then exterminate his ass. Then you're going to see the true hatred that the Lord had for this damn devil, man. And it's warranted. Yep. Oh, go ahead, bro. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Uh-huh. Whereas Edom said we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Let's say if Yahweh, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Order of wickedness, man. That's how you know who the wicked is. You know, you got the wicked two thirds, but you also have the wicked, which is the Edomites, the so called white men. All right, these Caucasians. Okay? Just so you know. Go ahead. The border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh have indignation forever. Against the people whom he will have indignation forever. The word indignation means anger or annoyance provoked by what is perceived as unfair treatment. Hey, like for instance, all that rape, rob, and murder that you did to the Negroes post-slavery, the Lord hates that shit. He's gonna make sure he's gonna avenge you for what you did against us on that, man. When, when our iniquity had an end and you were supposed to release us from our, our, our captivity, all you did was put us back into slavery but even worse, all the lynching and the, and, and the beatings and, and, and lighting on fires, that was all going on post so-called uh, uh, slavery, man. Rosewood, that was like in the 1920s or 30s. Okay? What about all those massacres that happened? Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Shit, punch bowl. The punch, the punch bowl was back in oh, 1800s, oh, oh, but that was right after yeah. we supposedly got uh, uh, emancipated out of uh, slavery. You know? What about them different massacres though, man? You know? What about the, the, uh, the East St. Louis massacre? Hundreds of Jakes got killed in that massacre. What about the Fort Pillow massacre? When, when them Jakes were fight, fighting for you in the Civil War, and those, and uh, I believe it was the uh, the Confederate states that tried to basically, uh, no, it was the Union that started to kind of fall back, and they left those 
Jake's that were fighting for them, fighting on the front lines for them, they left them to get messy. You know? And there's way many more, man. We might do a lesson on that, bro. There's so many different massacres of the bloodshed of, of Israel, man. Where you where Edomites are killing Jakes by the hundreds and even thousands, yeah, man. Yeah. You ain't never heard of a, a massacre being done on so-called white people by Jake. But you have heard of Massacres done on white people by other white, so-called white people. Yeah, yeah. Right One just happened weeks ago. Right. You know? So the Lord is justified in hating these damn devils, man. Yep. He has he has perpetual anger against Esau because Esau, his anger uh, did tear perpetually against his his people. You know? What was that? In, uh, Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, mm -hmm. he has shed the blood of the children yep. of Israel by the force of the sword. Yep. In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Yep. Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it. Him that passeth out, and him that returneth. Why? Because his anger did uh, tear perpetually, man. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you cast it off. Your, 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 your compassion for your own brother. We're supposed to be brothers, but you forgot the brotherly covenant. You know? And that hatred is still in you, man. And these devils, they try to cover that up with that fake ass love. You know? Talking about they have love for us. You don't love us, man. Your, your, your words are smoother than uh, 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 butter, man. Come out the room speaking love. You know? But war is in your heart. We know behind that love, you speaking that love shit, we know you really want to put us back in slavery. Or, or, to, or to basically annul, put us off the earth, man. You won't be satisfied with blood like the scriptures say. You know? And you simple as gullible ass niggas, you, you bite. You know? You simple ass niggas buy that shit, man. You know? But Satan, he, he, he knows how to beguile you, man. He knows how to speak smooth words to get you comfortable to, to uh, uh, accept him, man. You know? That was it. So he, hey, so the prophecy said that the Lord is going to have indignation against them forever. That means he's going to maintain his anger for them. That's why he says he's angry with the wicked every day. But he's also angry with the wickedness of the two-thirds, too. How Jake refused it to turn back to the Heavenly Father. How they want to stay in, in plantation Christianity and be a goddamn homeborn slave. And wake up out of that slave mind and, 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 and come back to that royal mentality that you once have, man. Come back to being the nation of kings and priests. You know, you niggas are slave minded here, man. Yeah. You know? That go alone to get alone spirit. You know? That's that that that's just from a statement of a people that's that have no fight in them, man. Completely defeated. The wicked one got the victory over you, man. That's a lot of them old bodies, over, The devil overcame our people, man. That's why they, that's why they, that's why they can't help but to defend this damn devil. Uphold his philosophies over the, the, the truth. You know? Because they're defeated, man. Yes. 
So, hey, where's the love in that? You know? This devil didn't have love for us, and he still don't have love for us, man. Even the damn Christians. Go cap I don't give a fuck what he talks about, man. That nigga wanna see you, that, that demon wanna see you Negroes back in slavery, man. That's why he's trying to come hard, he's trying to combat the vibration that we bring in because the vibration we brings, it brings you out of that 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 slave mentality. All right, we're 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 bringing you the truth, which the the scriptures say the truth shall set you free. We're trying to free you with the truth, and this demon is trying to put you back in in shackles, man, mentally, uh, uh, spiritually, man, with that damn Christianity. The same with all the James Whites. Jesus is the Word. The, 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 the Creep Show Dollars. The Joel Osteens. G Man. Uh, G Man. Uh, what's this guy? G Man, I think he's an Edomite, man. Yeah. That's a, that's that's a, a, that's a dark skinned Edomite. Yeah. He's trying to, that Edomite is trying to use his dark skin to get you niggas to, 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 to shift over. Come, come back over this way. You know, you niggas would think that that's an actual Jake that's down with what they cause. No, that's an Edomite, man. That's a straight up devil, man, in dark skin. Hey, just like fucking Hera. Hera was a was a was a dark skin Edomite. All right, he was some. He, he that's how he was able. Well, that was part of the reason why he was able to uh, be be king over uh, Judea. You know? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of yeah. This um Psalms 83 them start at the top. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. Yep. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. You know, Jake got a problem, he got a problem with trying to love the enemy. You know, and that's what the brother been going into all day. You know, our people have sympathy for the same people that have been putting us in, under subjection since he's been in rulership. You know, the same people that's been lynching, killing, raping, robbing, and murdering your people. You feel as if you need to uh, show sympathy and empathy towards them, as if they, as if they the ones that need the help. You in a, you in a low position. You know, you in a position where you need your power, but instead you watching, them, watching out for the back of the devil. Says, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy enemies. Yeah, that, basically these nations, they've been conspired against the nation of Israel. All of them, man. And that's why you see all these Christians, these heathen Christian groups, stringing up, just coming out of the woodworks, coming against what we're doing here. Because really they want us to stay spiritually dead in those graves. They don't want us to come up out of those graves and for the Lord to basically put uh, inspire, inspire us by putting his breath back into us so that we could become living souls again. Like you said, like we always say, it's a spiritual uh, a, a, a spiritual fight, man. And they working with the demon, uh, spiritual, spiritual demons demon and Satan. Satan with their Christianity. Yeah. Yeah, man, they're trying to keep us dead, man. That's really what they're doing. They're trying to put you back in those graves with this Christian shit, man. Go back into them shackles. You know, go back into those chains. Go back to uh, 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 servants, obey your masters. Be docile. Love everybody, have nothing but kindness in your heart. If I punch the shit out you, get, turn, turn your head so you can get socked again. You know, if I crack that whip on you, hey, you gotta accept it, man. You know? <laughs> That's what they want to do with you niggas, man. You know? But we here to dispel that shit, man. That Turner woke up to that bullshit. And immediately he was like, oh. He went out and massacred the fucking demons, man. I'd rather uh, have a, a dead, uh, like a dog and a dead lion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jake is that dead lion. He ain't got no fight in him. 
is, is broken. His beat is, is done. I know it's no hope for him. The spirit Don't, is broken. Son, the spirit is broken on, on this. The only people that's realizing what's, what's happening is the men that y'all about to shop with the, with the wisdom into. Everybody else is comfortable with how this society is going. Jake loves staying at the bottom because if he leaves me, it rise up. That's why the script acts, who will rise, who will rise him up? Yep. You know? Spirit. Spirit. Judah, Judah is, a, is a large book. You know? He's, he's couching as a, as, as a whole lot. Right. You know? From the prey that are going up. But now the lion, right now, he's like a little cub. And right now, the, the, the heathen nations are preying on that cub. Right. And he has no strength. He has the he has the strength of that old lion. Yeah. He doesn't have that fight in him like that 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 young lion. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like um, King David. He, he used to he had the, the, the necks of his uh, enemies in his hands. Right. He said, "Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies, man." Him and him and uh, Joel, they used to go to eat him. And they probably used to, hey, okay, let's bet how many Edomites. Mm -hmm. I bet I killed more Edomites than you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he bet with his captain probably, man. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying that's in the scriptures, but I'm just, you know, visualizing, visualizing it. Oh, well, he probably, before they went to Edom, well, they probably put their hands on their sword, they sent prayers up to the Most High, and then they probably was joking among themselves that I bet I killed more Edomites than you. Bet, you know? And they ran over there and, and, and to Edom, Start just hat just <laughs> going in. Just going in. Toy their ass up like blade, man. You know? Hey, but that's not hey, where's the love in that? What was the love in King David to go over there to the land of Edom and cut off every mill in, in, in Edom? And then left they they, they women and children uh, uh, uh behind. Yep. You already know what he what they were doing with their women. That spoils a war. In Psalm 33 and 4, they have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more remembered. Yeah, y'all not the Israelites. You know? Israel's done away with. Now you now you could be a spiritual Israelite. You know, these crazy ass doctrines that these people come with, man. You know? The Lord did it, he rejected his people. So now, you spiritually are an Israelite. You are an Israelite inwardly. Which, yeah, there's truth to that, but you still gotta be of the flesh, the seed of, of Israel. Did it not say in Romans, the ninth chapter, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom that pertain of the adoption and the covenants and the giving of the law and the services, you know, and the, the, the promises, you know? Come on, man. So, yeah, it, yeah you gotta be a Jew inwardly and outwardly, man. But all these crazy doctrines about Israel being a done, done away with, that's really just because these nations, they don't want you to know who you really are. They don't want you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to know that you are those people. The same people that they oppressing, that they got you in the ghetto. You can't prosper, you can't get no success unless you sell your soul to them. You gotta go to them for the one of all things. Gotta keep you uh, uh, centered. In a, in a box in a system that you can't get out of. They come in to uh, 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 make money off of you. You know, those same sad people, they they knew who you were, you just didn't know who you were. And they kept that hidden from you, man. It was never a problem as long as you niggas were jumping up and down, doing a running man up in the damn, uh, 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 those, those Baal temples. Temples of Baal, man, on every every corner of your city. Yep. Hell, they they funded they funded you so you can build all those yeah. temples, so you can worship him, <laughs> so you can worship 
white supremacy. You know? They don't mind you niggas doing that. But the moment you come to the realization, you come to the knowledge of the truth that you're the Israelites and that your power that sits on high and the, 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 the son of the most high, who you really call Jesus Christ, he looks like you and he came to die for you, that becomes the problem. You're not supposed to know that. Okay? Now they gotta come out in droves and try to prove or dispel that you are those said people. They wanna go into Def, they want to go into the definitions of these different books set up by these different theolo theologian scholars. You know what I'm saying? They want to go into all these different books. They don't want to deal with the word. They don't want to deal with the prophecies. Because the prophecies give everything away. That's why they don't like to deal with the prophecies, man. So they, it's a conspiracy that they want to cut us off from being a nation. That the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. That's why they're trying to tell you, no, be a Christian. Or, or, or be an African. Be an American. They don't want you to be an Israelite. Because if you call yourself an Israelite, that means that you're over everybody. You got to live according to the statutes commandments. You know? That means that these heathens gotta be your slave. They, can, you, they gotta work for you. You know? You finish that uh, Psalms 83? Psalms 83. And God, when they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against the, the tabernacles of Edom. And the tabernacles of Edom. That happen to be the first family that's listed in that conspiracy, man. Yeah. Alright, that goddamn devil Esau, the so-called white man. He's the showing you he's like the he's the number one enemy. And we happen to be brothers at one point. We come from the same father and mother, man. The reason why he's number one is because he has the most hatred for Israel. That's why he's listed uh, as the as the first nation that's conspiring against Israel, his own, which is supposed to be his own brother. You know? These devils are, are, are upset, man. Because they didn't get that, they didn't get the birth rate. That's the elites. The reason why they do what they do is because of their anger against us. Because they want the birthright for themselves. That's why they're trying to be imposters, trying to call themselves Jews, and, and, and trying to rule the world over there in, in our land. The Lord's get ready to burn their asses up out of it. You know? Edom is the, is the, the first nation listed, man. And that same nation, our people have an undying love for it, man. You know? You love, you love the same man who's trying to keep you from being a prince of the power. God trying to stop that breath from getting into you. You read Ezekiel 37, that breath is talking about the wisdom, the understanding returning back to, to Israel. And these devils are trying to block that understanding. They're trying to take it away from you. You know? Go ahead. And then get, get Revelation 11. Psalms 83 and 6, the tabernacles of Edom, of the Israelites of Moab, of the Hagari, Jamal, and Ammon, and Amalek. Amalek, which is another, he, he, that's, Amalek goes back to Edom. Which is the grandson of uh, Esau, right? Yeah, the grandson, right? And he's the cheapest of, of, of Esau, man. He's a, Edom, man. Uh -huh. You know, that's the so-called Jew right now. All right, Amalek. They call themselves Jews, but they're impostors, man. They're really the causers. You know, and they damn sure had a a, 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 a plight in this because they're the ones that's called lying to the world that they're the, the Israelites. 
and they're trying to tell us that we're not the Israelites. They try to say we African. They try to say we African. And yet, you say devils, they funded the, uh, the slave ships to get us away from the, uh, the old world. You know? Them, them gutter rats did that. And then they changed history. You know? And then they took our land by way of the Delphor. De uh, the Belfort Declaration and, and turned our land into the state of Israel which the UN accepted and the scriptures tell you in the law that Israel is not going to be reckoned among the nations showing you that those are not the people you know we're not hey, the real Israelites are not regarded among the nations that's why we don't have a seat in the UN that's why we don't have our own military and every, every island where we inhabit, heathens are ruling over. They call the shots. They're the governors. They're the presidents. Okay? That's it. Congratulations, I love to the truth and we're standing boldly with confidence man they've never seen this level of confidence from from our people like this man you know we stand boldly on our feet that's right and we don't care if you are a mathematician if you a professor <laughs> or if you a theologian a, a, a major you got a you got a dd you got a doctor at the front of your name if you come against us, you're going to get obliterated in the, in the spirit, man. That's right. So y'all coming with all these different tactics, all these different ethics to try to counter the, the program of the Heavenly Father, man. You want to stop that breath from entering into us, man, so that we can't stand up on our feet. That's why you want to get rid of us, man. That's why you want to uh, 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 surname us as terrorists. So you can basically throw us in, in a, a, a detention center, man. Yeah. You know? Because right, hey, we becoming a nuisance to you people, man. Right. The prophets, the true men of the Lord, is becoming a nuisance. And the elites are getting fearful because they see that the prophecies are being fulfilled when you got the Israelites coming back to who they are and standing on their feet. And there's major Israelite camps all over the world. Right, it ain't just an Israelite camp right here. Any city that you go to in America, there's an Israelite camp doing what we're doing right here. Right. 
And our enemies are fearing that. That's why they're trying to put a stop to it with all their, uh, their, their wicked antics, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is it because they know once how bad they've all treated the uh, Jake, man. You so called Negro teams and they've back. They've all put a head work Did y'all read that already? When it said that, uh, uh, Ezekiel 24 chapter, where he lists all the nations. Psalm 83, you can see about the enemies. Yeah, they're your songs, bro. That's the spirit. We just want to shout out. Because they, they know that once we come back, they got to deal with everything that they didn't do to us. They just gotta deal with the fact that what y'all doing in our ghetto with that fake ass dog meat food, some of this uh, uh, drugs and the tobacco and malt liquor, bleaching cream, that fake ass heroin. Y'all gotta deal with that stuff. You eat rice, you guys gotta deal with the fact of how bad you treated us and how bad your system is set up against us. All the way from the so called Hispanic to the Native American to the so called Negro. We're all in the ghettos under your system. So, and that was all a conspiracy of the other nations to keep us secluded under those conditions, man. Right. That's why there's no, there's little to no resources in the ghetto on purpose. When you leave no resources in a, a disclosed area like that, like the urban areas, there's no activity. It's basically there's nothing there productive for you to do. So you resort to whatever a tool or whatever device that this devil left for you in that box, you're going to use it against yourself or against others, man. Right. You know? Okay, Furious Styles from uh, Boys in the Hood. That was uh, Larry Fishburne from Boys in the Hood, right? What did he say? He sold the whole system the way it was set up. He said, we don't want any gun stores. We don't need both to bring in the drugs. So why is that in the liquor store in every corner? Why they want to kill ourselves? They put it in front of us. They starve us out on the inside of these hoods. These, these uh, barrios, these favelas, these um, these these, these uh, projects, these, the, the, the reservation, the res, all of that, man. They, they put us in these areas on purpose and squeeze us financially to where we can kind of uh, free ourselves out of the, yeah. the burdens of, 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 of poverty. Yeah. If you look at all those all those places. They do experiments on all those places, you know? Yeah. So for the projects that put um, uh, specific gas that mess up the fuel system on top of the on top of the building and spray it upon Jake. Kim trails. Kind of, for the res, it's places in uh, places in America, the reses that don't have no running water. Yeah. You got uh you can walk, uh, most of it is walking, you gotta walk 50 miles just to get out of the And the water. and the land is so messed up that they can't, they, they, can't they can't grow anything but they want it running water. To dig through those, to dig the pipeline, yep. it's impossible. Yep, without the tools. Without, if, if, yeah, exactly. And what was the name of that, uh, the, the tribe up here in the, uh, New, what is that? New Mexico? South Dakota? Oh, South Dakota. Uh, Sioux. Sioux. The Sioux tribe, Sioux. right? And Esau gave them hell and damn near uh, uh, tried to kill them because they came out and protested against Esau for trying to pollute their water supply. Yep. By putting that damn uh, pipeline. That pipeline down there. To, to Especially get oil running through their damn water. Right? You know, any, any, even the little things that he leaves for you to uh, to have to survive on, he pollutes that. Yeah. That's all a conspiracy to keep you, Jake's, destroyed, man. And then that Christian, that plantation Christianity. Yeah. That's why he doesn't mind a church being on every corner in your city. Yeah. Because he knows. Because you know that you're, you're worshiping him yeah. in those churches. Yep. Right. All right? You get Michael 4 and 11. That's all part of these nations being happy that Jake is in that low estate, that they don't know who they are. You know? They like, Esau especially in particular, he loves when a nigga say, man, I love everybody. I love the white man. There's good white people out there. A nigga that'll say, man, I love every white person on the planet. <laughs> you are you a good you a good nigga, man. Right. Hey, these are the same ones that hate their brother though. That hate Mexicans, that hate the uh, Dominicans, yeah. you know, the, the, the people of their own child. They especially hate niggas that's in a different gang than me. Yeah. The same people that say you love white people. I love the uh, good white people, I love all people. Yeah. That's the, that's the, if I may say it's like, that's the prison, uh, uh, 
Mindset. Mindset. No. Validated by his oppressor, if he has education, he, you gotta let your own slave master let you know that you're educated. You can't be educated. You, you can't get the knowledge on your own. You can't be educated without him giving you a piece of paper to say that you that that uh, you've been educated, that you got this degree all of a sudden. Hey, that's what bothers him so much about us. So <coughs> we don't have your credentials to prove to get your approval of this word. We come through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem outside that gives us the approval to come out here and chant you down. Right. I got your mic. Yeah, uh, Micah 4 and 11, it says, now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, let all those be defiled. All those confederate, all those, all those nations that conspire together, which is really all the heathen nations coming against Jacob. Right, even though they fight amongst each other now because they want that next uh, uh, spot on the ruler seat. Prior to all that, they all work together against you Negroes and, and Latinos and Native Americans. Hey, all these other nations are the Israelites' enemies. All of them. Know that. Every last one of them. Black ass African ham, oh, his yeah. ass is their number they one enemy. You. They hate you. Man. They hate you with a passion. The Arabs hate you with a passion. We know Edomites hate you since the womb. You know, Asians don't like you, all of them. They all hate you. Edomites. They do not want your, your benefit of you coming back in the rulership of power. It says, uh, let her be defiled and let our eye look upon Zion. Yeah, let, let her be defiled. Meaning, let her be unclean. With her, with her wickedness, man. Right. Let Israel basically be in that dead estate. Let, let them remain as those dead corpses, man. And we, according to the law, when you, a, a dead corpse is unclean to you. Yeah. You know, all people are really they're, they're filthy. They're, de they're they're filthy while they're in their dead estate. They behaving they behaving like a bunch of brute beast animals, man. Very low. We, we it's, it's ironic, right? We, we act like the, the natural way of the Edomite. Yeah. They're taking the position of where we're supposed to be. That's how low we are that they set the standard on high society. The lowest man, the basest man on the planet, sets the, uh, the standard of high society in the planet. And the highest quality people on the planet are the very lowest, morally. I'm gonna keep reading, it says, um, let our eye look upon Zion, but they know not the thoughts of the Lord Yahweh. Neither understand they his counsel, for he shall gather them as the sheaves into the floor. It says, Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion. Yeah, that's going to, that's, okay, yeah, 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 that's yeah, that's yeah. Get, uh, Lamentations 2 and 15. So Lamentations about rising 15. Up out of that position. All that pass by clap their hands and feet. They hiss and wag their heads. At the daughter of Jerusalem saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty? The joy of the whole earth? Yeah, these are supposed to be the Lord's people. You know? Hey, they, these, these devils, when they question, when we come out here and tell them that we're the Israelites, it, it seems like it's comical to them. Now, how in the hell could you tap dancing niggas be the true people of the Lord? <laughs> you mean these pan sagging, mop head wearing, tattooed up, 
drug, uh, 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 yeah, pill popping. You know, niggas talking about popping each other's women, yep. ghetto gagging. Yeah, you know, niggas talking about uh, killing each other in the streets, on records. Make a living. They make a living off of killing other niggas and selling drugs to them. McDonald's yeah. baby eating. Yeah. GMO eating. Yeah, processed food, no cooking, natural quality. Man. You know, I mean, you can live, you can run a list down on Jake. Yeah. Jake is the worst person on the planet, the worst nation of people on the planet. If it wasn't for the elect, we would be destroyed in inside a few more years. That's right, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, but guess what? These other nations love seeing you in that state. You know? Yeah, man. Yeah, Jake is bad. Yeah, man. Well, read that again, because I love that verse. Lamentations 2:15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag. That's not an applause. They're not clapping in applause. They're trying to get attention because you're a spectacle now. They are laughing with you. No, they're laughing at you all day. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty? Hey, the most I chose you, niggas? That's the, you, you the who people he chose? You Hispanics, you natives? Y'all lowly ass people? Ghetto, having ass people? No education, wanting people? Y'all can't even read. Y'all the city of perfection? Hey, hey, Esau always come with that shit. When, when Jake rise up against police brutality or yeah. when an Edomite uh, uh, committed murder against the Jake, Esau always come with that. But what about Blacks killing each blacks. Y'all kill each other more than we do. Uh, like they make it okay. Since it's open yeah. season on us, y'all yeah. can but the fact that they, But the fact that they can use that as an argument, right. that shows you something, man. Yeah. You know? That's why when we call Because that's out. one of the top 10 yeah. leading causes of Jake is homicide. Yeah. That's black on black crime. Jake on Jake. Jake on Jake. Yeah. You know, it's Esau on Jake or Jake on Jake. Yeah. yeah. Esau, when you look up in the, the CDC website, homicide is not in the top 10 of his leading causes of death, these so-called white people. They die more by suicide than murders. You know? Straight up, man. That's because you Jake is under that curse. And Esau loves seeing you like this, man. Esau, he loves that, man. You know? Read that again, huh? All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head uh -huh. at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the yep. joy of the whole earth? Yeah, this is supposed to be the city of the Lord here. You know, these hair hatted wearing, <laughs> uh, tat tatted up, having ass, them are the daughters of, uh, of Jerusalem? <laughs> Walking around with. with <laughs> Wanted all the attention in the world, <laughs> you know? Ground with the drinking, twerking. Yeah, twerking on, in cemeteries, having ass. Yeah, in church, on caskets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, Walmart twerking. Bad. Black Friday, shopping. Yeah. 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 Weave buying on sale. Yeah. Where they were dumpster. Weave, weave war having. Hey, you know, our people so weave. bad. Look, this is how bad our people are. Our women will leave their little infant babies at home alone with a, with a toddler to go buy weed. To get in, a, in, a, in line to buy weed, not to go run in and run out. To go get in a long line because they're giving away free weed. That's how bad our people are. It's yeah. true. We're just talking about the daughters. 